Hi everybody, my name is Melissa and welcome back to my writing channel, Hopeful Happenings. Today I'm going to show you how to make a picture book dummy first draft. Picture books are normally made of 32 pages or 40 pages. For this tutorial we'll make a 32 page book, so grab some clean blank paper and you'll need 16 sheets. Why should I make a picture book dummy? Well, if you plan on illustrating your picture books, you'll need to submit a dummy in order to be accepted by an agent or editor. However, even if you plan on not doing any illustrations, a dummy is still a vital part of the process. The reason for this? You'll make way better decisions when you can see your story laid out before you. Not just in understanding your story, but also how you present the story. A key component in the text of a picture book is knowing when is a good spot to turn the page. And having a dummy laid out before you can really help in that. It's also great to be able to see it and read it out loud and read it to others. I'm sure you've heard of KISS before, keep it simple stupid. I'm going to say this applies for picture book dummies as well. Even if you are an artist, a dummy, especially your first draft, is not a place where you want to go all out on your illustrations. You may get too attached to a picture and not want to change it even if it's not working or if you make your drafts too perfect then you may be wasting your time because something that you spent hours on could be cut later. So save yourself the time and the trouble by just keeping it simple with quick sketches especially for your first draft. All you need to do is get the story down, understand it, now with our paper here, we're going to fold it. You can fold it all at once if you'd like, or you can fold each individual sheet by itself and then stick them together. Here's a great time to consider if you would prefer having your book horizontal or vertical. Obviously this is most important if you're an illustrator, but even if you're not, it's good to consider what kind of things you would have. For example, if your book is mostly about people, characters, then you probably would have a vertical book. Or if your book has sceneries, landscapes, or invites your character to go on some kind of journey, then often a horizontal style book is better off. How you put your pages together is up to you. Since this is just a rough draft, it doesn't really matter. You can staple it or you can poke holes in it and sew it together. I don't have a stapler right now so I'll be sewing mine together. Like I said, it doesn't really matter. This is just a first draft. It's just to get the story down and you will be doing multiple drafts. I mean, you're not going to get the story right on the first try. Don't put that pressure on yourself. Let go and let yourself be creative. The reason the books are normally 32 pages or 40 pages is just based off of how the printers go in sets of 8. So it will actually cost you less to print 40 pages than to print like 35. Obviously things can change with your publisher, but just to keep it safe, write a story within 32 or 40 pages especially if this is your first book. You'll always have better odds if you follow the rules. Now the story does not start on page one. We'll actually have other things that go before the story starts. The paste down, the end pages, the copyright, the title page. Your paste down is going to be your first page. Let me show you in a real book so that you have a better idea of how to make your own draft. I'll use Bear Likes Jam as an example by Sierra Gavin. The paste down is this page. Next you'll have end pages. These are illustrated end pages. Turn the page and I have my title page. And the title page is always going to be on this side. And then I also have the copyright right here. So the actual story doesn't start until this. Let's see if we can count that. Page one. Two, three, four, five. Title pages are always on four, five, it seems, for illustrated end pages, and they're always having the title on five. Six, copyright, seven. This is where the story starts. I think a lot of books actually start on page six, but this one has the copyright, which is totally fine. At the end of the book, you'll also have those end pages, so make sure you count those when making the draft. For the sake of this first draft dummy, we'll just make page six the start of the story. So let's count. 
Page one is the paste down. This is also the cover. Page two, three are the end pages. Four, five are the copyright and title page. And page six is where the story starts. For a 32 page book, the story should go from page six to page 29. Then on page 30, 31, we'll have end pages again. And on page 32 is our paste down or the back of the cover. Following this format is going to help you create a story that not only follows the guidelines of publishing, but also helps you see exactly what you want and where you want it on the page. If you're an illustrator and would like to illustrate your own picture book through traditional publishing, then I would encourage you to check out the website, Storyteller Academy. It's one that constantly talks about how to make dummies and not just drafts like this, but using programs and different forms of illustration. I've learned a lot from them, so I just wanted to give them a shout out because I think what they're doing is awesome. So here's your finished picture book dummy template. Now you can start writing. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was educational and motivational to help you get your publishing goals in action. I post once a week on YouTube and I post daily on Instagram giving you more writing tips there and sharing insight into my own debut novel, Sea of Kings, which you can actually pre-order starting now. I'll put the link down below. Stay safe. We'll see you next week. Bye.